By the end of August, the Ministry of Education will complete this year's Primary One Registration Exercise. Where you live impacts your children's eligibility for admission. On this special edition of XTV, we look at how much it costs to buy near Singapore's primary schools. Next on XTV with your host, Mark Loon. Good day, I'm Mark Loon. Welcome to part one of our report on property prices near the Ministry of Education's 190 primary schools. I'm now standing in One North Park, directly across the street from the Ministry of Education building. Every year, MOE administers a registration process to place rising Primary 1 students into a school for the following year. This process consists of seven phases and takes place during the months of July and August. The sixth phase of the registration process, known as the Phase 2C Supplementary, closes next week. By then, all rising Primary 1 students who are Singapore citizens or permanent residents should be registered. If the number of applications to a primary school exceeds the number of vacancies, the school fills the vacancies based on home school distance in order of the following priority. Within one kilometer, between one kilometer and two kilometer, and outside two kilometers. For example, if two Singapore citizens were competing for one spot, the one who lived within one kilometer would be emitted over the one who lived 1.5 kilometers away. Hi Alvin, Hi. so how important is it for your clients to be located near to a primary school? Being located near a, good, a school, in particular good schools, has tremendous advantage over the others. Um, the Ministry of Education has a mandate that orders the location based on proximity to the address. Uh, properties located within a one kilometer or two kilometer radius enjoy priority over the other applicants. For example, every year we can see as we draw closer to the July registration period, the number of parents who are keen to buy a property within the range of distance becomes more. So how does a popular primary school impact the prices in the neighborhood? As we all know, property prices around the world adhere to the law of supply and demand. Singapore is no different. Uh, even in the wheat market, this rule is still very obvious. So depending on how near your property is located to the school, um, the prices usually stays firm. And uh, there is a serious need to buy and have the address for the sake of the child's education. It is a known fact around East Coast that some developments like um, the Silver Sea, uh, the Sea View, uh, even properties around St. Patrick's area enjoys greater demand due to the proximity to Taunan Primary School. For parents, school and homes go hand in hand. They relocate to homes close to their children's schools. Popular schools can drive up nearby property prices. Therefore, parents work to own homes in neighbourhoods that allow their children to go to the right schools. Hi Bobby. Hi. So how important is it for your clients to be close to primary schools? Oh, I think it's uh, very important because uh, many of the clients I know, uh, they are doing a lot for the kids. And uh, some of the examples I do have uh, like parents who actually sold their house just to move somewhere near the school. Now, one of the reasons is they understand the minute if the kids will have to travel up and down, like for example, one hour up and one hour down, okay, it's going to really affect their grades. So this is what parents will do for them. How does a popular primary school impact the prices in the neighborhood? Um, okay, nine years in the industry, I've seen uh, a few cycles. Okay, one of the very interesting trends, which I realized is wherever it comes to like primary one enrollment close to that period of time, uh, property tends to sell faster and that's the point of time parents are willing to pay almost every, uh, any price okay so if you ask me would it actually uh, affect uh, the prices uh, in my opinion yes as such to give you a better understanding of what it costs to buy private homes within two kilometers of Singapore's primary schools the Singapore Real Estate Exchange SRX has calculated the price per square foot for each of the school's neighborhoods we have posted all 190 schools on srx.com.sg slash research but here are the top 10 in terms of neighborhood PSF School neighborhoods 10 through 4 have PSFs that vary from $1,507 to $1,736. The 10th most expensive primary school neighborhood is Ferrer Park Primary School. 9th belongs to St. Joseph's Institution Junior. 8th is Anglo-Chinese Primary. Placing 7th is Changde Primary. Anglo-Chinese School Junior takes 6th place. St. Margaret's Primary School has the 5th most expensive neighborhood. And Singapore Chinese Girls Primary School finish in 4th place only about 50 cents behind the third place finisher. 
Now let's take a look at the third most expensive primary school area by going to srx.com.sg and using our location-based search engine. Cantonment Primary School is located in the Bukit Merah planning area. The median PSF of private properties within 2 km of this school is $1,737. The Beacon is the closest condo to Cantonment Primary School at a mere 66 meters. The school in the second most expensive primary school neighborhood is Alexandra Primary School. Alexandra Primary is also located in the Bukit Merah planning area. The median PSF of private properties within 2 kilometers of this school is about $1 more than that of Cantonment Primary, $1,738. The closest condo to Alexandra Primary is Domain 21, only 93 meters away. And the school in the most expensive primary school neighborhood in Singapore is... River Valley Primary is located in the central planning area. The median PSF of private properties within 2 kilometers of this school is $1,824. The nearest condo to the school is Pacific Mansions at 107 meters. To see the 2 kilometer PSF for all 190 MOE primary schools, please visit srx.com.sg slash research. Also, this Friday, the 8th of August, look for the schools with the most expensive neighborhood rentals in the property section of the Today newspaper. Finally, join us at the end of the month for part 2 of XTV's look at the relationship between primary schools and PSF. And that's it for this edition of XTV. I will see you again next week for the HDB report and an in-depth HDB profile on HDB Town. This is Mark Loon for XTV. Thank you for watching and have a good day.